Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Pixar. I hope y'all are doing well today. How are you today, Squishy? Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't even know how you are? All this experience though, buddy, what do you think about I it? I know, right? It's getting really, really good. We've been smelting up that iron that I got last episode and guys, the levels are just coming on in. They just keep on piling up. So we have been working a little bit towards health. And I've been trying out the copper sword a little bit just to get a little bit of meat to feed my animals in my absence. And things are pretty good, man. Things are pretty good. I'm I'm enjoying, I guess you could say, the progress that I'm making. Squishy is enjoying the meat that I've been giving to him. And we are now level 30. So you know what that means? No, we ain't going to fight this thing. We're actually going to tame it, Squishy. I mean, don't you want a good, a, a big, powerful friend? Okay, so... Let's, uh, let, we could just go up to this thing and feed it a berry. Now, it's going to take a good little while to tame. Level 62, I mean, it's just how it's going to be. They take a little while to get their first feed interval. And after that, there's a whole lot of, uh, of just berry given that goes on. But before we even do that, we need to get more berries. So that gives us a little bit of time to just grab a few medjos. I wanted to start this process off while, uh, you know, just to, and greet you guys while we get this done because we're gonna be using this guy to do a little bit of fighting and hopefully a desert biome if we can find one today. How's that sound, Squishy? All right, perfect, let's go. I think this is gonna be our last little feeding here. Yeah, we got our trike, sweet. We're gonna need a saddle for this, but before we do that, I actually started taming another one, bruh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as long as it took me to tame that one, I figured that I would just start feeding this one when I was just waiting between cycles, you know? That way we'll have a backup if we kill it. <laughs> we're not gonna do we're not gonna kill it though, Squishy. Okay, so we gotta get a saddle for this guy. Let's look up the trike saddle. Actually, it's called Triceratops in here. Um, let's see. Maybe I learned it already, but I doubt it. Triceratops. Yeah, there we go. We're just gonna need some hide and some wood, which we have plenty of, but, well, I mean, we ain't got nothing else to do while we wait. So, let's grab a couple more of these berries. Let's pull out the hatchet, grab a little bit of wood, and we're gonna get some hide, too. There we go. And what shall we get the hide with? This guy? <laughs> that worked out pretty good. Thank you, little trike. Thank you. That was only six of it. Let's kill this Fiomia while we're waiting. Actually, let's let's feed the other Triceratops first. Wait, are these male and female? I didn't even think to even check. Are you all? Oh, we might have some little Triceratop babies too. All right, we don't want to chop this meat. Uh, and get the, the Triceratops mad, okay? Squish it. Yes, I'm going to give you some meat. Just hold your horses. God dang it. You're always so hungry. You got plenty of meat on you already. You need to make me some of that good stuff too, okay? Some of that, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the polymer that you make, okay? Is that clear, sir? <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm going to stop giving you orders. It's fine. All right. Saddle. Uh, oh, no. We Yeah, we have enough. Triceratops saddle. I'm, 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 I guess I'm gonna just make two of them. Yeah, there we go. And uh, we'll put one on you. Perfect. And we could get berries with them too, man. That's that's another good thing about these guys. That's what you see. I don't want to kill them in the desert or whatever, but you gotta think it might happen. These guys are actually a lot faster than they are in Ark too, man. How do they how do they perform in battle? We were doing about 15 points of damage per, which is honestly about the same as we were getting with uh, the other the other thing. But I just saw all them seeds that we got too. Oh yeah, man! Narco berry seeds and magic berry seeds might be pretty darn good to have. The hitbox is a little weird, but I do get a lot more berries with this than I do by hand. So that's that's really, really good, man. Wow. Yep, okay. So we're going to finish taming up this guy. Then we're going to go experiment by uh, traveling with one of them and we'll store the other one. Wow. Hey, these guys harvest wood pretty good too, I just noticed. Wow. You know, that's really, really nice. Can we use... Oh my gosh, we're doing 86 points of damage now. Wow. 
and we're getting a little bit of vegetable seeds too. I like it. I don't want to kill that little slime. But yeah, this is good, man. So we got the other one, and I figured that we would use it. We're gonna we're gonna keep the higher level one for around here, and we're gonna take the lower level one and and bring him into the desert since it might actually be you know it might it might be really really dangerous. It's been a little while since I fought anything in the desert. Let's move the we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get our our pix block thing set up too so somebody had said in the comments last time that we should probably get that little thing that um we can store pix blocks in it's like um oh i'm about to bring it up in in my recipes here so let's see if we search pix block sorry <laughs> pix block and look under maybe metallurgy. There it is. The Pix Block container. Okay. So it only takes 10 skill points to use. And we need copper, wood, and glass. Yeah, that's the second thing that we're going to need glass for. So I think we're going to keep the Triceratops here. I have a Triceratops in my inventory. As well as a few other materials I need to put up. Then we're going to head to the desert and see what we could do. <laughs> All right, y'all, we finally made it to the desert, and there's a lot of crazy biomes on the way here that I saw, too. Okay, so we've got badlands all around us, which we've got to be careful about. I'd like to get a good piece away from that stuff, and I really need stamina, too. Okay. All right, what have we got here, man? Holy. Look at the stuff. We got a mantis over there. I don't think they take death horns like they would in uh, in Ark, because I don't think we have death horn worms over here. Uh, we've got a hyena don. I think those are rideable based on the little bit that I've streamed. They are rideable now that I think about it. That would be really really cool. Anything over here to tame would be extraordinary. First order of business though is sand. Let's go ahead and. Drop down right here. There's a little scorpion. Perfect opportunity to try out our trike here, too. Let's grab plenty of sand. Probably just a couple stacks here. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to take out my trike. Let's just go ahead and put it where the sand's going right now. There we go. Yeah, get on out of there, babe. Okay, and you get a saddle. And you're good. You do have some levels. I think I'm going to raise damage first and foremost for you. Just so that we can have a good offense. And as far as... And I guess I'm just going to put you up right now, Pteranodon. That's that's going to be the best order of business, I think. We're going to convert you to a Pix Block. And we're going to grab your saddle. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Saddle in. All right. Now we're good to go. Let's finish mining up some sand and, and see what we could do here. All right, I mined out the little hill of sand and I ended up with, um, heck man, right around four stacks. That's good stuff. All right, time to explore a little bit on the trike and see what we can do here. All of that stuff that I saw just a second ago, that stuff is gems. And we can't, we can't get any of that stuff. There is some more iron over here though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need... Oh, actually, what is this? No, it's quartz. I have no idea what to use quartz for, honestly. So I got all of that sand, guys, and now I'm actually picking up some quartz right here. I know, Squishy, it's some pretty rare stuff. Well, I get experience for doing all this naturally, and I don't know what we need quartz for specifically, but I'm grabbing a little bit, and it looks like we just got access to the alchemy stove, so it requires magic ore to activate. We don't have any of that stuff yet, um, but we're going to be getting it. I just wanted to grab a little bit of that quartz. We got almost four stacks of sand, which is also good. I'm going to keep buffing health a little bit, and we're going to explore a little bit on our trike right now first order of business though let's get this thing off my screen okay beautiful we got a bunch of that magic ore unlocked that we can craft but 
I think it's um I think it's pretty much those those gems that we see here and there. You can you can harvest those with a wand. But it's time to try out our merit against the scorpion. Now, a good way to treat the difficulty level of creatures. First of all, Tricat is incredible knockback. If any of you have ever played Ark, you know what I mean. Uh, you can just see. Well, let me let me hit this thing one more time. Okay. So if I use the the my <laughs> my scanner on it, I don't know why I can't get words out. It's five levels of difficulty. Now, that's a pretty good way to gauge whether or not you should take on a monster with the creature that you have, right? Because our trike is actually six levels of difficulty, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Uh, no, we're four. Wow, okay. So that is a little bit different, okay? We want to get these primal bone pieces because those we can put we can put to good use with our equipment to make upgraded equipment like bone equipment. Uh, and I wanted to give you a couple berries too. Is there any little bushes around here I can get? I wonder if the cactus gives us any berries. No, just thatch, huh? Mm. I might have to go in one of the neighboring biomes and get some food. I don't think food's going to be that big of a deal. We're running low on it. I do have some berries that I can give it though. That'll probably subside. I didn't want to use it just in case I needed some to tame, but it shouldn't be that bad. We want to watch out for that Argent, because that Argent is... What level is it? Man, it's a uh, it's a level 10. That shouldn't be that bad, to tell you the truth. It's kind of picking on that meat over here. Let's see what we could do. The bad thing about this thing is if we decide that we can't kill it, we'll need to escape from it. Okay, so it does 58 points of damage. But it looks like we've done quite a bit of damage to it already. Yeah! All right, good. <laughs> you get it in that little corner and you can really, really do some stuff to it, man. All right. So we have the sand. There, There's a jungle biome right there that we could get berries from. There's also a magic biome that we have. Now, I'd like to get a little bit of that magic material. What the heck is that? Okay, so we got access to spring shoes, by the way. Let's get that leveled up real quick. Spring shoes, nice. A Beelzebufo saddle, cool. All right, that's a goblin. These things can give you access to some pretty good stuff and you could pun him, man. God. <laughs> yes, Squishy. We're gonna get him, buddy. We're gonna get him, god dang. That was easy. All right. These things give some uh, random resources, it looks like, and territory certificates, which we do not need for anything at all, man. Um, all right, so now that we've got a good grip on being able to survive in this biome, I think we could either tame something and get some... I, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to tame something and get a little bit of local resources from this magic biome. That way we can make magic taming stuff. Um, I think all I'm gonna need is berries. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got plenty of magic berries with that. Oh, that's another really, really nice thing for having my trike with me. Can't really heal them fast, but they, you know, they heal pretty fast on their own in Pixar, to tell you the truth. Let's get a little bit of these magic trees, too. Oh, can I not harvest these magic trees with the trike? I might not be able to. And if you guys are wondering why I'm calling it a trike when it's a triceratops, I'm just so used to it from Ark. That's what they're called in Ark. Okay, Mage Weef Bark. Maybe you can't get it with the um, with the little with the little triceratops, you know? Okay. Well, we'll get a little bit. Oh, there's a gem spider. Okay, those are those give you a lot of gems when you kill them. It might be worth it with our knockback. I'm pretty sure that we can do it. Okay, let me add damage here. Let's take a look at the gem spider just to see what its stats look like. Okay, it's a difficulty level 5. It's a level 40. It's tameable. But it's con is it considered a magic creature? Yes, it is. So we need magic arrows and stuff to tame it. Also, there's a little kitty cat right there. A moo kitty. Um, Shadow Leopard. Oh, I keep moving because of my trike. 
I'd like to see what level it is. It's level 14, and it's considered level 5 difficulty as well. Okay. I don't think I'm going to mess with that. I don't think I'm going to mess with that. I'm overheating right now. Let's eat a little bit of food. We just got to watch our water level in the desert, right? Okay. And we could also level up a little bit on our trike. Let's go with damage again, huh? Boom, man. And a little bit of health. We'll get above 600 health. Okay, I want to harvest a little bit more of these materials, and then we're going to try to tame something. All right, guys, I think it's time to take on this gem spider. He was getting really, really close here. Oh, he can't even hit us. He can't even hit us, and we're doing just fine. He's already bleeding. No problem. <laughs> There's something about a trike, guys, and the fact that you have so much control in a fight over knockback. They're actually really, really strong. And look, what the heck did that spider do, dude? <laughs> he kind of freaked out on Squishy. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got some magic cores from him too that we'll need for quite a few recipes within our little magic stuff. And that was a good harvest from that. I do want to get a couple more trees while I'm here. Then we could tame something, man. All right fire spider we don't have it's a magic creature again so we can't tame it uh oh and it looks like it lit me on fire oh my goodness man there's a lot of them okay i gotta go i gotta go i have to go am i still on fire no the leopard is on fire okay i see i see oh my gosh man this is bad and i'm running out of stamina I have to turn around and face one. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 uh. uh We're on fire again. Gotta be careful, guys. Gotta be careful. Come on, trike. Hold out. Hold out. Hold out, baby. Hold out. Hold out. Hold out. Pace yourself. Pace yourself, baby. Pace yourself with stamina. Oh my gosh, bro. I know, Squishy, we could do it. I know, buddy. I know, I'm hanging on there. Oh my god, we got one. Okay. We got one. Don't let the spider hit me again. The flame spider hit me again. Okay, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. Oh my gosh, Squishy. We did it, buddy. I know, I'm gonna eat the meat. Just hold up, man. There's another one. It's harvesting the meat that we just... We just kill. Okay, let's okay. Let's back up. Let's back up. It's after us. We're gonna have to kill another one. All right, you ready, Squishy? We could do it, buddy. Uh, 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 uh. We could do it. We got our stamina back this time. Yeah! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh no, man! We did so good. That is so good, brother. That is so good. All righty. Well, I'm gonna recover my health and stamina a little bit, regain my composure. All right, I believe with our recent good fortune that we should go over to the jungle just to grab some berries for our little buddy because he's sort of hungry right now. I have to remember to bring some with me next time. You know, you, you automatically assume that you could just grab some food anywhere, but when you're in the desert, things are a little bit different. Eh, well, <laughs> I guess that's one way of doing it. <laughs> All right, I just got some seeds from that and not real berries. Come on, baby. Give me a real berry. Wheat seeds? Okay, I needed some of them. Okay, we got some azul berries from that. Maybe I should hand harvest just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Now you're going to have a few berries to eat. His food was getting really, really low just due to the stamina drain. Man, <laughs> it's kind of working on me for a little bit there. So I think I found what I want to tame, guys. That is a level 116 Mantis. It says that they're tameable. It doesn't say that it's a passive tame. So I imagine we can shoot it, right? I imagine that we can shoot it. Does it say? Yeah, it says tameable. Okay, let's whistle passive so that our trike doesn't decide to do anything crazy. And we can start shooting it with the bow. We got arrows. All right. Let's see. I don't know how many arrows it's going to take, but... It's 
starting to get sleepy, maybe? It's running. I gotta watch my surroundings, too. A little bit further. Alright, that was a good shot. That was a headshot, baby. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit higher. And perfect. A big, big level too, guys. Huge level. Okay, it's down, it's down, it's down. Whoo, baby, that's what I'm talking about. I know, Squishy, we got it. Okay, we're gonna have to go down there, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take some sort of meat. Now, I have regular meat, I have cooked meat, I have a couple of spoiled meat. I think we'll be fine here. I don't have any prime, but there's nothing that's given me prime yet. So, what I'm gonna do is carefully make my way down here. Okay. Just watch out my so oh my god, there's some bad stuff around there. I think I'm gonna have to build a box around him too, guys. First of all, let me see if I have the kind of food that I, I need to tame him. Put food in inventory to tame. Will it be regular meat? Okay, he's taming. He's taming. Alright, he's not gonna eat spoiled, I don't think. He's just gonna eat regular meat, but that's okay. It's gonna be a little while before he tames though. I have some narco berries on me and stuff too. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got some narco berries, so I should be fine. What I think I'm going to do is build a little box around me with uh, the stone. Uh, that way it'll keep us safe. There's no taming effectiveness in this game, so I don't have to worry about that, uh, like accidentally hitting him. But I do need to make sure that we are completely boxed in here. So I'm going to just start building a box, and uh, that way we'll keep ourselves safe. I don't know. There's the Cyclopses right there on the side. Oh my gosh, man. I can't go much closer, y'all. I just need to protect us. He sees me too. Um, I don't even know if I can properly protect us against this. If he decides that he wants in, he's gonna have it, you know? Okay, I think we all right right here. Can we pix block you? I'm overweight in inventory, but that's okay. It's only temporary. Okay, and I need to make my way inside here. Okay, Ooh, okay, I'm safe now. I'm completely safe. So I should be all right. I want to protect the mantis too, though. Pretty sure we're about to have it tamed, guys. Yeah, <laughs> that's good stuff, man. Wow. So it's a level one seventeen, y'all. It's a huge creature. In terms of what we already have tamed, this guy is incredible. Uh, its difficulty level is only set as four, but. I mean, it's a carnivore. It's mobile. <laughs> uh, let's see how much health that we get. Yeah, it gains a good little bit of health. Very, very, very cool. Uh, so, I think we're going to need to pix block it to see if we can actually get out of here with our pteranodon. Uh, okay, let's see. Convert to pix block. I need copper ingots to make the saddle. I've already checked. Okay, we need to get some weight out. And our little cage worked, man. Our little cage worked. Let's see. Let's get out of here. The cool thing about Pixark is you can actually go through very, very small holes like this. And it makes a huge difference, man. Huge. Wow. Okay. So, let's do the Pteranodon. And hopefully, we'll take the saddle off of it, too. Pteranodon. Okay. Beautiful. Can we move? Yes, we can. Oh, we got it all, baby. We got it all. That's some good stuff, man. <laughs> That's right, Squishy. That's right, buddy. All right, we need to head home. I didn't put my flag out yet, but I do know that I need to head northeast, so let's do it. 
Ah, uh, we are just about home, y'all. This is the last little bit of dark forest before we get to our lovely area. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we made it. This was such a good run. I can't believe I didn't die from that Cyclops too. It didn't even attack me. It just wandered off after a little while. Thankfully, the aggro range isn't crazy. Oh, I can't believe we back, Squishy. We back, buddy. Okay. Um, the first thing I want to do is prepare a saddle for this guy and try it out. Use item. Okay, we got the Mantis. Perfect. Let's put this guy in here. Uh, and... We're going to make the... We need copper for the Mantis saddle. Okay, I think... I forgot where I actually put the copper at, y'all. I know I had a good spot for it. There we go. There's the copper. Okay. And uh, Mantis saddle. Oh, wait. We need to learn it first, huh? Mantis. I'm glad you could just make it in your inventory. Okay, we need some hide too, which I believe I have already. Mantis. Ah. Oh. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Let's put my um, my leftover copper ingots away. Did I just use them all? No. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, are you excited, Squishy? <laughs> Me too. All right. Primitive Mantis saddle. Now, these are costume slots. Uh, you might be able to put tools in their hands, too. I don't know. If you can or not. Yeah, you can. Oh my god. It works just like it does in Ark. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's test some stuff, okay? Let's test some stuff. Not the fastest guy in the world, okay? Really not the fastest guy. It could just be due to the fact that we're kind of full here. 60 points of damage. 60 points of damage, okay? Keep that in mind, alright? I'm gonna give it my sword... I'm gonna give it my sword and see what happens, alright? My little my little copper deal. Okay, ready? Now we need to test it on a a packy because we were doing 60 to the packy, alright? 67. Definitely an improvement. Definitely an improvement. Let's hit the turkey. Yep. Pretty much 67 points of damage straight up. Dude, this is really, really, really good. <laughs> this is really good. I know, Squishy. I know, man. It's awesome. All right, let's see about mining. All right, let's take a let's take some options to mine here. Let's get the copper sword off of him and put the pickaxe on him. And let's hit a few blocks with it, huh? All right, let's get up here. And... Okay, so it can mine, but it looks like it only gets one at a time. Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't mine as good as me, to tell you the truth, guys. It doesn't mine as good as me. Well, which is good, because we can give it a really, really good weapon then, <laughs> instead of worrying about it. So, we'll take the pickaxe out. It was a, it was a nice thought. It was a nice thought. It still, it, we still haven't tried it out on trees, so I suppose that we should try that out uh, before before we actually go. Okay, let's see here. Let's try it out on trees now. Also, the hitbox is kind of meh. Okay, so we do get. A lot of normal tree seeds from that when we do it just like that let's bring up some damage a little bit 338 so that's another 40 percent damage here 19 wood i don't think it's big enough to justify even worrying about harvesting stuff like that but honestly with the sword we should be good all right let me take the sword give it to you take my hatchet back well, you always got to put some stuff in inventory first before you do it like this. Can we imagine? Can you imagine when we get a really, really good sword on this thing? Oh yeah, baby! Fifty points of damage. This thing is gonna be a good investment. It might not be as powerful as the trike right now, but 
have a good feeling about it. We can right click too. There's no other trikes around. Let's try it out on this guy. <laughs> Baby, that right click does so much damage, man. <laughs> now there's a there's a huge wind up for this, okay? It takes a little while, but look, 117 damage with the swords. <laughs> <sighs> Guys. <laughs> A little bit more damage, maybe. Oh. 357. Let's try it out on this trike. Wow. Wow, 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 dude. So strong. And, okay. Well, not this strong. Wait, we don't want to go in that biome. <laughs> Oh. We don't want to go in that biome. Holy cow, man. This is awesome, y'all. This is awesome. I'm going to have so much fun with this thing. And when we get great weapons, this thing is going to be incredible. Wow. I also want to see about trike mating next time we come back, y'all. But that is going to be it for today. I really hope y'all enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Oh, no.